In America, socialism is hot again. Democratic socialism is your kids' public school. It's our interstate highway system. It's the researchers and scientists paid with our taxes. We can do better when, when we, we do, do them together. together. Really? I know better because I'm from Guatemala. I've seen the impact of socialism. My father escaped Cuba. My grandfather suffered under communists in Hungary before escaping. As a child, I was thought socialism was wrong. I grew up mocking it. But democratic socialism sounded okay. It made sense to me that government should take care of the economy. It's complete anarchy. But then I watched socialism fail in Latin America. No hay nada. I learned that every time a country started down the socialist path, it failed. When Castro came to power, people were excited. They cheered. He was going to help the poor and make everyone equal. But the result? Sailing for freedom aboard an old green Chevy truck. Hundreds of thousands fled Cuba. Here, in Little Havana in Miami, Cubans who escaped are eager to remind people how bad life in Cuba had become. This man's father was a doctor. My father had to sell illegal meat out of his ambulance in Cuba because the government wouldn't pay him enough. I mean, Cuban doctors earn like less than 1% than American doctors. You don't see any future. Everything is stagnated. Healthcare, education, yeah. nowadays they're in ruins. I tell the Venezuela, my Venezuelan friends, we warned you guys. Esta es la hora del pueblo bolivariano. Venezuela did not listen. They followed Hugo Chavez down the socialist path. La grande, las grandes riquezas que hay que distribuirlas por igual, de manera equitativa. Chavez's promises impressed American celebrities too. Uh, fascinating guy. This is you and uh, Hugo Chavez. <laughs> oh, Michael Moore! Michael Moore! Oh, really? <laughs> Come on in. He says, he says, he says, help, he says, help me write my speech. El capitalismo es el reino de la injusticia. Chavez said, I'll take from the rich and give to the poor. When there was no money left, the government just printed more. That caused inflation a million percent inflation. Now, a chicken costs this much. Venezuela has, of today, the highest inflation in the world. When business owners raised prices to keep up with inflation, government often took away their businesses. Por Algo de That's what's happening to this man. <laughs> Chavez sees lots of private property. Chavez sees thousands and thousands of businesses, just took them away from their owners. Yet most Venezuelans like that. People was clapping so hard. They were like, oh, finally, there's somebody here making social justice. But government grabbing private businesses created shortages of almost everything. Why did you leave your country? It's like the apocalypse. It's no food, no medicine. How do you feel when you see other countries with the same mistakes that Cuba has made for the past decades? Terrible. Michelle Ibarra escaped Cuba and says Venezuela should have learned from Cuba's failure. People in other countries in Latin America, they will blame anything else besides socialism. Blaming socialism for Venezuela's riches to rags story is grossly misleading. And there are plenty of socialist countries that look nothing like Venezuela. When I talk about democratic socialism, I'm not looking at Venezuela. I'm not looking at Cuba. I'm looking at countries like Denmark and Sweden. Why not try my Swedish tradition? Scandinavia is now called a socialist success. Even people jailed in Venezuela, like Francisco Marquez, say that. Yeah, I mean, you have Norway, you have Finland, you have these type of, of countries that are democratic, that have democratic institutions, and many of them have socialist policies. In Scandinavia, private business is largely left alone. Governments don't even set a minimum wage. Freedom rankings score Scandinavian countries high on property rights and business freedom. All Danes enjoy welfare benefits. Yes, there's a big welfare state, but it's funded by thriving free enterprise. Denmark. Denmark. But so many American politicians say Denmark is a socialist paradise that Denmark's prime minister felt compelled to reply. Uh, Denmark is uh, far from a socialist planned economy. 
Denmark is a market economy. So if Scandinavia is not socialist, where has socialism ever worked? Nowhere. What would you say to the Americans that like the idea of socialism and support it here? I would say that they should wake up. and You don't need the government to dictate how, you're, how to live your life, uh, how much money you should make, how your family should be uh, treated or how much you should pay. If anything, I think taxes are still a bit high here, but um, it's the best we have in the entire world. Think about that. The next time you hear Michael Moore and celebrities praising socialism, socialism wrecks economies, wrecks lives. And in addition, it kills. In my next video, I'll show you why under socialism, violence is inevitable. Oh, no.